man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Try hitting Control alt delete Quit looking Security over my shoulder, officer, making me uncomfortable. Alexander, please report to Office Complex for Ah, Gordon. Upgrade. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. But the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans! Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Oh, would you look Big at day that. today, eh, Freeman, Freeman? actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Well, good morning, Freeman. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Yep, yep, yep. There's a pepperoni pizza. Good morning, Gordon. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Security office. Emergency grade level two. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than a replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- bah. I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated ersatz are absolutely full of it. Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. What's the extension for technical support? Morning, champ. Hello. Another day, another dollar. These double shifts are starting to get to me. I'm at the point now where I have to drink a cup just to go to sleep at night. <laughs> Cheers. Hope you're in top form this morning, Gordon. They're serving Salisbury surprise in the cafeteria. Again. I trust this morning finds you well. Can this wait till I'm off break? Yeah, I'm happy to see you too. Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? Never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make Gordon, like an Adam. You've split. already done enough damage here. Get to work. I never. Keep your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. They've been paging you all morning, Dr. Freeman. 
Best get downstairs before you cause any more disaster. Control yourself, Gordon. Freeman, please. Keep your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. Why do you insist on picking over everything in my lab? I don't think my pacemaker can handle any more of this. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? You'll just have to wait until after the test. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Go right on through, sir. Yeah. Thanks for the input. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Ah! What was that for? Well, get going. Man, cease and desist, or some shit. Man, cease and desist, or some shit. See you soon. Ah, Gordon Freeman. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Catch that last fluctuation. It's nothing to worry about. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. Oh, come on! Did that honestly seem like a good idea, Gordon? Now, where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. We 
should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The acousto-optic modulators are on the fritz again. <laughs> I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. Can this wait? Uh, hold. Just hold on for just a minute, Gordon. Moment. What's up, Doc? Ready for another rousing an day, Freeman? You're drunk. You'll just have to wait. Until this is after going the to test. have to wait, Gordon. Freeman, please. I'm rather busy now. Keep your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Please relax. Things could be much, much worse. Freeman, this is not how you go about getting my attention. Why do you insist on picking over everything in my lab? My god, what are you doing? Do you try to break everything you touch, Gordon? Oh, Gordon, that really hurt. Stop this madness at once, Gordon. Freeman, please. Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. I don't think I've ever actually seen you perform any work at all. It took some doing, but the anti-mass spectrometer is finally ready for today. Greetings, Eli! Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical! What in the blazes is going on oh. with our equipment? Oh. It was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. longer than I anticipated. Get your thrills elsewhere, Gordon. By Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. You'll just have to wait until after the test. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Doctor? You'll just have to wait until after the test. Maybe later, Gordon. Here, push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. 
It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly, but before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. Keep your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. I'd like you to actually show me your degree, Dr. Freeman. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. What am I, target practice? Man, cease and desist, or some shit. Yeah, real mature, Gordon. No time for cold feet, Chief. Step right up. Oh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't Gordon feel doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long it can take. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105 percent. Uh, it's... Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. We'll 
we'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase release. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level. Nor how long it can take. But please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well in an acceptable balance here. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion. Non-standard specimen. Shutting down! Someone get him out of here! Shut down! It's not... 